Hi guys, Sal Galvin here from Perth WA. I don't often do speak to you guys while I'm in my office here, but um, I have, sometimes things come to me like when I'm busy swimming or busy running or in the shower or gardening or doing menial jobs. And um, you know, I created the Resilience Toolkit and I believe that it is so important right now to, um, you know, for all of us to build and use our own inner resilience during this uh, COVID-19 crisis. But, you know, my passion lies with children. And um, I thought to myself, well, you need to create a Creating Resilient Children's Toolkit. So I have. See? You guys see it there? Creating Resilience Children's Toolkit. This will be a free downloadable um, I'm going to pop it up on my website with Des Will tomorrow, hopefully, and you guys, I'll pop the link in for you guys to access it. And that's it on the screen behind you guys as well. And it was on this screen too, but obviously that stopped. So um, I just wanted to, well, tell you guys that created resilient children, creating resilient children toolkit. And um, I just wanted to tell you guys about the first page really, and then the rest, you know, like it's free, you can download it and use it yourself but it's a toolkit for you to use as parents because we are all talking about building resilience. And from the research I've done, from my own life skills, and from the work that we've been doing with so many children for so many years, these are some of the things that um, we've put together. So there are two ways to think about resilience. Um, and the first way was the way I used to think. Um, it's to be strong and tough so that nothing bad can ever affect you. Or to be flexible so that you can take the hits, rebound and bounce back. Many parents think that to build resilient children, they must encourage the first one or the former by saying things like toughen up, get harder or stop being a sook. But to be strong and impenetrable, affected by no one and nothing, able to handle anything is an impossible way to live and living like this sets you and your child up for failure. So the second way of approaching resilience is by having the skills both on the inside and the outside to successfully manage life, to adapt to a change, to stressful events in a healthy and constructive manner. So a balanced, resilient, well-adjusted child can handle any adversity in their life and as you know life serves up. Adver uh, its fair share of that. I've just spotted a few typos. I better change that before I put it out. So in the next few pages in the Resilience, Building Resilient Children Toolkit, we are going to unpack your toolkit for building resilient kids. And there are eight tools there that I've put together uh, and a bonus tool. So good nutrition, safe nurturing environment, clear boundaries, plenty of play off devices, don't over parent, mind fitness, lead by example, and then the bonus tool after that. So that's it in a nutshell, but um, you know, it's bright and it's lovely and it is, I'm really proud of it. So I will be putting that, I'll put the link in below on this um, live as soon as it's up, but it's not up yet. So don't expect the link till tomorrow. But I just finished it and I need to proofread it now. I'm going to leave the office and I'll spend some time with my children. But um, really proud to say, yeah, creating resilient children toolkit. So grab it, use it. This is the time we need to. And we'll all come out of this COVID-19 feeling a whole lot better. I'm sure that, you know, like what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Truly believe that. And if we can use this time to really, you know, in, improve our own self, improve our parenting, improve our connectedness, in, improve our relationships, improve our health, improve our mindset, our mind fitness um, will come when everything gets back to as normal as it's going to be, we will all be stronger because it will have built some good resilient levels, resilience levels within us. So creating resilient children toolkit. I will, as soon as Desiree, my best girl, will puts it up onto my website tomorrow morning, I'll pop the link in here for you guys. And um, it's yours to download for free. All right. Thanks so much for watching you guys. 
and um, I hope you're all safe and I hope you are all have a wonderful day tomorrow with our dawn service and, um, and yeah, remembering those that uh, fought for us in the war. This is like another war, isn't it? This uh, COVID-19. It's like a silent, invisible war, really, isn't it? With that virus. But anyway, that's what it's about. Take care, you guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.